So we're here with Ben Raby from SRAM and also Mark Cavendish's bike, which today made a little bit of history because it's the first time that a bike with hydraulic brakes has been used in a road race. Now, Ben's gonna talk us through it a little bit. So he's using the hydraulic rim brakes that you've got going on, but you still had to talk to the UCI to get these approved? Correct, so our uh, product management team uh, introduced Hydro R technology, which is uh, hydraulic braking systems for road uh, category, and that includes rim brakes and disc brakes. The World Tour Peloton had terrible weather this year, and braking was always a part of our conversations with our teams and conversations of how we would uh, help them and, and get the riders more confident on a consistent basis. Um, so to have this option and then paired with the UCI's approval, uh, we set ourselves with our partners as specialized um, to introduce hydraulic brakes for Mark and we had the opportunity to do that in Glasgow before the uh, GB National Championships. Uh, we had a great ride uh, prior to the GB National race and he gave us the thumbs up that he, he was really keen on, on using it as quickly as possible. He noticed, he noticed a huge change in, in the engagement and, and the amount of um, less power you have to engage on the brake lever to get the same amount of power you need to, for high speed braking. This is a completely sealed system. so. The braking performance from the start line to the finish is always going to be same, the same for them, you know, and, that, and that's huge. Um, but also less effort. It's going to be less effort for them to get more brake power and control. The modulation is incredible. We, we, we filed information on, on uh, developing new product and introducing this to the market. And uh, we sent a letter to get a UCI's approval so that we could um, introduce it to World Tour Peloton. So we did that about two months ago-ish and uh, we were to get that good news from them that they gave us the green light. So they didn't put up a fight on this? They didn't. Mark's first impressions were, were great. I mean, we still have the same transition from the um, shifter lever to the handlebar. Um, the biggest change, as you can see, is just the, the, the taller uh, bump area, which hoses the uh, master cylinder. Um, also, with the added power that you increase with the hydraulic uh, braking system is being able to brake more from the hoods and have that power that you get from being in the drops. So you have a great great balance of power engagement whether you're in the hoods or in the drops. It's independent reach adjust, so you, you, you can reach adjust your uh, shifter lever and your brake lever. Um, also, on the brake caliper itself, you still have the micro adjust, which is similar to um, our current system now, and you can open and close it uh, for those quick uh, tire changes. These shifters are one-offs, aren't they? Uh, correct. This is a black box effort uh, from the Road Sports marketing team along with our product management team to install a 10-speed system in our Red 22 um, shifter lever. So, because Mark is obviously still running 10-speed, the whole of his team's on 10-speed, but next year these are going to be 11-speed. Correct. Um, you know, ba based on the, the team schedule and uh, fulfillment for product, you know, we have to meet certain deadlines to deliver the team product and based on our schedule introducing Red 22 to the market, we weren't able to meet those deadlines. So the team has uh, continued on uh, 10 speed, but we really wanted to support Mark with um, getting him on a hydraulic system, uh, braking system, and uh, we were to make it, that happen as a, as a team effort.